Would you like your overall project management to be more effective? Well, let me show you how with JotForm tables. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you would like to take your project management to the next level, JotForm tables can help you do that. So let's go ahead and get switched over to tables up in the top left-hand corner. We're currently in my forms. We're gonna jump over to my tables and let's create a table. Now we can always utilize a template. So let me do a quick search for project management. And over on the left-hand side, we see all of the different categories. If I scroll down, I can see that there are 19 project management templates. So if you take a quick scroll and you see something that fits exactly what you're looking for, it's always best to start with a template. So that way you're not having to start from scratch. So we have an employee task list. We have an issue tracker, gap analysis, project onboarding, lots of different options. But for this example, let's go ahead and head back and let's start from scratch. All right, let's go ahead and rename our table. We're gonna call this project management. And right now you can see that we have one table and it's titled new table. So Let's go ahead and rename this one. We're gonna call this one our projects. And you can see it's automatically giving us three columns. We have name, email and notes. Now we can rename or edit any of these. So right here for the name, let's go ahead and call this the project name. Now, before we edit the other ones, let's go ahead and add a new tab because eventually we're gonna have these all connected together. So on this next tab, we're gonna add a table and we're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna call this tab tasks. And again, we can rename this first one to tasks. And then the last tab, another table, and let's do from scratch, and we're gonna have this one be the team. Now we can go ahead and start on the team tab. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna enter in some people on my team. And then I'm going to choose to add a column, and I'm gonna do a single selection. So we're gonna choose what their title is. We'll do next. And we'll say manager is one, and then We'll have consultant, and then maybe we will have a team leader. All right, we can create this column, and now we can come in here, we can add their titles. Perfect. Now let's head back over to our projects before we get into the task, because we need to know what are these overall projects so that we can break out and divvy up the tasks. So let's say that we need some blog post for SEO done, and then we also need an update of our YouTube channel. Now we can get rid of the email and the notes. And one thing that we can do here that will kind of link these tables together is we can combine or have two of these sheets or more talk to each other. So let's do add. We're gonna do a connection with the table and we can name this one team. We're gonna select from our project management the tab is the team tag and the column is going to be the name. We'll do create column. And so right here we can see that there is now a link between the projects tab and the team tab. And because it is linked between those two, you can see that the link color is the same color as the team tab at the top. So if we start linking the task, which we'll do in just a second, you'll see that things will also be colored purple. So from here we can add, we'll have Lacey's in charge of the blog post and then we have the YouTube channel is gonna be Catherine and Barbara. So we can have multiple people participating at the same time. Now let's jump over to our tasks and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this notes tab. And we're gonna do a connection with a table and we're going to bring in which project each one of these tasks are going to be tied to. And again, we're gonna pull from that table, from the projects and the project name and create that column. Perfect. And then we can also add again, another connection. We can see who is doing each one of these tasks. We can link the team tab again. Again, project management, we're gonna select the tab team and then their name, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and add in some tasks. So we need to do some SEO research on that blog post. We need to script our video. We need to make the thumbnail. We need to write the description. And we also need to write and edit the blog 
post. So from here, we can choose which project this goes with. So these two are going to be the blog posts. And then these three middle ones are gonna be for our YouTube channel. Perfect. Now we can assign the team. So Lacey is gonna be in charge of that research. And then we're gonna have Catherine script. Barbara's going to do the thumbnail. And again, we can have multiple people on the same thing. Perfect. And you can see how you can continue linking and pulling in from different tabs. And because JotForm talks to each one of these pieces, you could have a form that comes in. So for example, if someone would like to request a video be made for your YouTube channel, that could be encompassed in with this as well. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm tables for your project management, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.